Hello, welcome to my podcast, Empowered to Thrive. I'm so glad you joined me today. I'm your host, Kareen Powell. I'm an intuitive mentor, and I help people pleasers to find happiness, embrace courage, and experience peace of mind. But say you're not a people pleaser, and you're desperate for change and not sure how to make it happen, then I'm here to help. In this place, you're going to find motivation to live a life full of joy and resilience. We'll talk all things inner wellness. And because I'm a mom, we'll throw in some knock-knock jokes. Just kidding. We'll talk mom hacks and parenting sometimes. Whether it's your first time here or you listen week after week, I am wanting you to know, as I'm always wanting you to know, that your life is so significant. You are so valuable. And I, for one, am happy that you are alive. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. And would you do me a favor? Would you go ahead and subscribe to my podcast? Give me a good rating and write a written review. Any of those three things would help me so very much, and I would appreciate it. Enjoy the episode. Hello, hello. It's good to be back with you. Today, I have Hannah Hendricks on with me again. If you didn't catch last week's episode, you'll want to go ahead and listen to that. Hannah and I have an organic conversation last week. We talked all about self-care and self-love. And today's conversation is very specific and focused on how you can bring in a good facial care routine for yourself. Hannah is a functional nutritional therapy practitioner, and she's also a mother of four. She has formulated her own skincare, and it is amazing. I use the products, and they are phenomenal. But today, she is going to give you step-by-steps what you need to know and how to implement the proper facial care routine for yourself. So I hope you enjoy the episode as much as I did. So I mean it with all my heart. Like you are doing such good work. And yes, you are totally changing. If I can enjoy what I put on my face and know that I'm doing, taking good care of it, that makes me feel better about everything because I look in the mirror, right? I see my face. If I right. you know, pop on social media, everyone sees my skin. So whether right. I have makeup or not, I know that how I feel about my face affects everything. It really does. Yeah. And our face is our first impression to the world. It really is. And it's just, it feels good when we can feel comfortable and confident in the skin we're in Mm -hmm. rather than that feeling of just wanting to hide. Cause I've been there. I've been there where I just like, I just, I don't want to be seen by anyone. I want to hide. I feel horrible. And then when I go out, like when you come from a place like that, you're not, it's not a good place. It's not like a good feeling. Mm -hmm. And those around you can, they feel that and they experience that, you know, And you also don't enjoy life to the fullest and enjoy what you have. And when we can enjoy what we have right now and feel good about ourselves, then it just makes everything better. Yeah. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm excited because you're going to share with the listeners and with me, because I'm going to learn from this too, what we can each do at home, no matter the products, to Mm -hmm. take good care of our skin. Yeah. So go because we want to learn. All right, let's jump in. Yeah. Okay. So this was a big challenge for me because when I was really struggling with skin, I really didn't know how to take care of my face or my skin or what to do. And I honestly was doing everything wrong. And I was causing more problems than I was helping. Like the products I was using was causing more problems than, um, then they were helping, they were causing deeper like hormonal issues. And when you're causing hormonal issues, it creates more skin problems. Like I think most of us know that hormones can really show up on our skin. Mm. And well, then I started studying skincare and just really getting into it. And I'm like, oh my word, like, okay. So everything, let's throw everything out and start fresh. 
And I also learned that like our skin is our fastest, fastest changing organ. So it's, it's constantly changing, it's constantly renewing. And then once we hit on the right products and the right skincare routine, we'll start to notice changes really quickly, mm. like within days or weeks. And I just, just a side note here, this would be a whole nother conversation. It's our skin also shows what's going on internally. So having the right lifestyle in place is also important, like diet and getting good movement and sleep. And like, you know, Kareen, past trauma and stressors can also impact us. So um, clearing all that up and working through that is really important also. But then what we do topically has a big impact. So that's what we'll talk about today. And so there's four steps, or excuse me, five steps that I recommend every single day. So first is cleansing and cleansing properly. I actually cleanse morning and night. There are different schools of thought and then you would also want to test your skin on what would work best for you. Some do well cleansing once at night and some do well cleansing morning and night. Okay. But if you're doing a one uh, once a day cleanse, you do want to do it at night. Mm -hmm. so we'll talk more about that in a little bit. I'll talk about the other steps. So the second is toning. So toning our skin is an important step. And uh, we need that for just several reasons. And again, with that, I'll get into depth on each of these steps. So third, you'd follow up with the serum. And then using an eye cream is really beneficial. Our eyes don't have any sebaceous glands in them. So they start to show signs of aging and other things sooner than other parts of our face. Mm -hmm. So if we give them just a little extra love, then they can look youthful and um, glowing longer. And fifth is moisturizing. So that's important. And then also, if you plan to be outdoors longer than 30 minutes, a good sunscreen is important because like we all know sun damage can cause a lot of deep problems and we don't want that. Mm. Weekly, you would want to include exfoliation and masks. So I'll talk more about those also on why you would want to do them and how to implement them. Okay. So back to cleansing. So we want to cleanse properly because cleansing is really the foundation of our skincare routine. And it's because if our skin is covered with a layer of anything like toxins or debris or makeup or anything, then our skin cannot heal and regenerate like it should mm -hmm. at night because our skin is mostly doing a lot of regenerating and healing while we sleep. Mm -hmm. That's when our human growth hormone is increased and that's when our immune system is increased and a lot of healing and regenerating is happening. So we want to have a clear skin at night so that our body can really do its best work and regenerate best at night. Mm -hmm. And um, when we wear makeup, we want to cleanse twice, actually. Oh, so first okay. to remove the makeup and then second to really clear out the pores. Yeah, oh. so doing it twice is nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. No, okay. That prepares, yeah, and that prepares your skin for the next steps. Uh-huh. Yeah, and so toning would be next. So we do need a toner because our skin has a pH mantle and it likes to be slightly acidic. And when it's too alkaline, then it starts to show up as problems, like anything from acne and to rashes and hives and... Anything, any little problems can show up from skin that is slightly alkaline. And so if we keep it acidic, it also helps prevent bacterial growth on our skin. Mm -hmm. And a toner does that for you. So the other thing a toner does also is it clears up like the remaining residue from your cleansing. So anything that might be left over, a good toner will clear that up. Mm -hmm. And so um, tone immediately after cleansing. Now, just a real quick note, 
you want to do all of these steps within about a minute or two of cleansing. So you want to tone, serum, eye cream, moisturize within a minute or two after cleansing because your skin has, is moist and uh, ready to absorb the nutrients okay. from those products in that time frame, in that minute or two. Mm -hmm. so doing it quickly. So, so um, having a facial routine daily doesn't have to take that much time. It really shouldn't actually, yeah. but it can have a big impact. So then following up with the serum after toning. So serums are our, really our powerhouse problem targeted product. And they are infused with nutrients that just absorb deep into the layers of your skin. So they really do some deep healing. So we have multiple layers on our skin and we want to, we want to um, like touch all those layers in our routine. Mm -hmm. So a serum is really our big powerhouse nutrient that just really gets deep and fixes problems of inflammation and can really heal and regenerate with some really good nutrients. Those are usually nutrients that are really small molecules, so they absorb easier, deeper. Okay. You can also get a hydrating moisturizer, which does both. So it has a moisturizer, the moisturizer component and a serum. Um, and we'll talk about moisturizer in a second. So following up after the serum, you dab on eye cream. And just a note on this, use your fourth digit to dab anything around your eyes because that's your weakest finger. Okay. It's really easy to pull and stretch the skin around our eyes and that can cause more problems. And so if we use our fourth digit, the weakest finger, mm -hmm. and dab it really gently, any, anything that we put around our eyes, then we're uh, better off it to help protect that really thin, delicate skin. So an eye cream, um, you want to look for one with carrot seed oil actually in it because there's a, probably a lot of good eye creams out there, but I prefer ones with carrot seed oil, I should say, because carrot seed oil is just a really good, uh, powerful oil for healing and protecting delicate skin like that around your eyes. Okay. So now the fifth step, the moisturizer. Um, our moisturizer is what protects our skin from all the toxins and debris that come at us every day. And so we want to put that thin layer on. It also kind of seals in and helps all the rest of the nutrients from our other products absorb better. Okay. And so it's key. Now there are a small percentage of women who react to moisturizers and it shows up as acne. And if you're one of those women, you might have to play around with this a little and maybe skip really heavy moisturizing products and try to go for like a light serum, maybe, maybe a, just a super light hydrator um, and avoid like heavier creams. Um, so yeah, just, I guess you have to just kind of watch and play with it a little if, if you're one of those women who reacts that way. Mm -hmm. And then sunscreen. Um, I really recommend looking for a, bot a botanical and natural zinc and a natural zinc based sunscreen. So many sunscreens out there are loaded with chemicals that we don't want to put on our skin. It'll exacerbate skin issues and really cause a lot of deeper problems in our body and hormonal issues. Mm -hmm. So looking for a natural zinc based um, sunscreen that includes botanicals would be really important. And just a small thin layer on before going outside, if you plan to be out there over 30 minutes or applying it, getting some sun is really beneficial for us, yeah. but we want mm -hmm. to catch it before we have any damage, before there's any signs of um, any pink sunburn indications or, uh, I know a lot of people might not like to hear this, but tan, tans indicate um, deep damage also. <laughs> <laughs> But we can have beautiful skin without having just like a really dark tan, right? <laughs> I'm one of those people who loves being tan, so I'm laughing. 
But I know I'm with you. I have really delicate skin. So my skin actually, it's really hard for me to get it to tan. It's like I turn 50 shades of red before I get any taint of tan. <laughs> I wish I would, but but especially women with more delicate skin, you have to be cautious of not letting your skin get damaged because we can cause a lot of problems and longer term problems because age spots, they may not show up immediately. They may show up 20 years down the road, but it's from that burn you had 20 years ago. Yeah. And then also we all know the dangers of skin cancer and we don't want that. Yeah. So that's just to be aware of that. Now, weekly add-ons include exfoliation and masks. So I recommend exfoliating two to three times a week mm -hmm. with a gentle, um, like a gentle grain-based exfoliator. And the reason for that is because as we age, our skin doesn't turn over as quickly. Like you look at children and they all, most children have just like plump, beautiful, rosy skin, just like that dreamy, dreamy skin that we all want. Mm -hmm. And that's because their skin is regenerating and slewing off old dead cells much quicker. And it does it naturally. Now, as we age, we start losing some of that capacity. Mm -hmm. So we're not naturally slewing off that old cells, the old cells that cover like the new ones. So if we, if we help ourselves out we can kind of boost that process and which can slow down signs of aging and really give us that youthful glow mm -hmm. so exfoliating two to three times a week and you would fit this in immediately after cleansing so you would cleanse exfoliate and then follow up with the toner serum moisturizer and so on okay and then masks so masks are our powerhouse, our workhorse product. And we want to do them once a week. And it really doesn't have to take that much time. I'm a busy mom. I know you're a busy mom, Karine, and there's may, probably many listeners here who are busy. And it can feel like, okay, now doing just another thing just feels like too much. But really this one simple thing only needs to take 15, 20 minutes of our more, one, one morning a week and it can be while we're doing other things. So I like to apply a mask before I step into a shower. Okay. And that just actually really boosts the benefits of a mask. So that gentle push pull of a hot shower will just kind of work the mask in deeper okay. and just give us even a deeper pore cleanse. So um, that makes it a little bit easier. You know, you apply it maybe do a few things to let it just kind of soak in a little bit, mm -hmm. hop in the shower and then rinse it off before you get out of the shower. Okay. So it could be something just super simple, but it really effective and you'll really start to see results once you get the right mask that works for you. Okay. And there are different types of masks. So there's sheet masks, there's clay masks, there's like oil-based masks. My personal favorites are actually like oil cream based masks and clay masks. Okay. So I use them alternating. I actually will talk about my products more, but my cleanser is actually designed to be a mask also. So it kind of works double duty. Oh, oil or a cream mask. Yeah. Okay. And then my exfoliator can also be used as a clay mask. Okay. So that's really cool. I, I just, I really like those types of masks, although everybody can find their own preference. And I'm sure some like sheet masks and some prefer other types, but just finding the one that works for you. And with all skincare products, I really recommend watching out for the ingredients that are in them. Mm -hmm. So like we mentioned at the beginning of this conversation, there are so many chemicals that are added to skincare products that can exacerbate issues and make things worse. I mean, that was my experience. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you're super sensitive to products and mm -hmm. we just, we just have to be careful. They can, there's just like, there's parabens and phthalates and sulfates. And I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, all the main things to look for. Fragrance is another one. 
The unfortunate thing is that our cosmetic industry is not very regulated and there can be a lot of hidden toxins in them. So it's very important to be aware of the products you're using and, fi and find like conscious companies who are really working to make clean skincare that really support our body inside and out. Mm -hmm. um, because of the unfortunate truth, like for example, like fragrance, the term fragrance can have so many hidden ingredients just under that one blanket term. Mm -hmm. Even if the rest of the product look, looks good and looks clean and then they throw that in there, we don't know what chemicals are in there and they're not required to list them. Okay. So it's important to be careful with the products you're using and be aware of even your reactions to products. Now, I also want to know on natural products. So some of us can have allergies and things and it's important to be aware of our allergies and making sure that we're not using anything that could, could cause an allergic reaction mm -hmm. using like a natural based product. Right. So um, I guess those are two things to be kind of aware of as far as natural versus like a chemical based product. Uh, just a really easy way to test your tolerance to a product is to actually take a dab of any product you're wondering about and put it, put a dab of it on the inside of your arm, kind of in a spot that's not noticeable. Okay. Let's say like the inside of our arm is it's fairly delicate skin and putting a dab there and letting it sit for a minimum of 15 minutes oh. and as long as overnight and watching for any reaction. So if we get redness or any kind of swelling or any, any negative reaction from that spot, then we know to not use it on our face that we might react to. There may be something that we're intolerant to or allergic to in the product. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. I could have bypassed like making my face break out or burn from even trying it on my arm first. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I had no idea, but I've used a lot of different products and, you know, my face will get red and rashy or I'll have a burning sensation. And so it's good to know all that could be avoided if you just test on your, on the inside of your arm. <laughs> Yeah, like really simple and it can, yeah, it can avoid us a lot of pain. <laughs> right. Oh. So um, that, I guess, in a nutshell is what you would want to look for in a routine and how to identify products that are clean and beneficial. Mm -hmm. I want to interrupt today's episode to tell you about a few things going on. I am running a no cost, fresh start challenge. It's already going on, but you can join in even now. We've been going for a few days and we're going to continue through the end of this week. And because there's new focus points every single day, you are going to be able to benefit so much, even if you're just in there for a few days. So I hope you'll go over to the show notes and register. We're going to be talking about all the things I talk about. Body love, making time for self-care, learning how to empower yourself, and to manage your mind, your thinking, and so much more than that. I would love to have you participate. And again, remember, it's no cost involved. You just go ahead and register, no strings attached. I also want to invite you to my group coaching. We'll begin with our first meeting on Tuesday, March 9th. The meetings are held over Zoom Tuesday evenings from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We will meet three times, but because the meetings are bi-weekly, it'll be over the span of six weeks. I would love to have you participate. I keep my group small very intentionally because I want to give you my focused attention and I want you to have a space where you can share and ask questions. All that you need will be provided for you. I send videos before the meeting and we continue with discussion during the meeting. It's a really great place to be and it's a super special time. 
I hope that you will go ahead and sign up. I'd love to have you there. Now back to today's episode. I love getting good information. It always makes me feel empowered. Like knowing that a mask once a week makes such a difference. I feel like that's so helpful to know because even if you're doing all the other things, but you know that just adding that one step in will will significantly enhance things, then knowing that helps. And I think you made it really practical. Like, hey, you can apply it and then let it set in and then step in the shower, do what you got to do and rinse it off at the end. You know, Mm -hmm. so that's a really easy way to do it. And I think making 15 minutes to take time to do something that's important for ourselves as moms or just as individuals is always worth it. You know, it can, yeah, it can feel overwhelming to add any new thing in if you're already maxed out. But I just always feel like if we're that maxed out, then that's an indicator that something's going on below the surface that we can look into. You know, I remember feeling so overwhelmed that to hear like, I should be doing this for my face or doing this for my body was just like, oh no, I can't hear another thing. But really I needed to be taking other things off my plate so I could do the self-care routine. Yeah. So, you know, anyways, I just love what you said. It's, it's so empowering. Thank you. Yeah, good. Good. I'm glad it's helpful and empowering. And And it's just like any habit when we, it's like, it has to become a habit where it becomes just a routine. It becomes automatic. And it's just something we do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the ironic thing is when we infuse ourselves with moments of Mm self-care, no matter how difficult it seems in the moment, like everything else seems easier. Mm. I don't know if that's your experience, but that's my experience. And I believe that's the experience of many women. Like Mm -hmm. when you take a little bit of care for yourself, then like things that seem so overwhelming or tough or stressful, like become clear, right? A little bit easier. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's, and that's how I feel about a facial care routine. It's like, it's a moment that you can step away from all your responsibilities and it's only a moment. Like we can all find five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day or like on our mask days, that 15 minutes to just infuse ourselves with a little bit of care. Mm -hmm. And I know like when I skip that for myself, Mm -hmm. like I don't show up as well for my children, for my husband, for everyone else that's in my life. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, show up as happy I'm not I'm not as present it's just you know my days are just worse yeah yeah and when with that small moment it's like that I just it's like brushing my teeth Mm -hmm. and that's how it can become for all of us like you brush your teeth you take care of your face like that's just what you do yeah you know yeah it can be just such a simple but powerful way to really impact the way you show up in your life Mm -hmm. and then I have a woman who has um actually just recently told me that she's in her 70s and she has been using my products for the last year and absolutely loves them like and it's just made an impact with her she's just always sending me reviews of them just like they made an impact with her skin and and she's in her seventies. Like we're all going to age. We're all going to, it's just a natural progression, but it's good when we can do it gracefully. Right. Right. And she's like, she's just so pleased with these products because they've just made such an impact with her skin mm. that the, the age and the, that she's at now in life. And it's, it's so cool. Yeah. It's, it's really it's fun to share those kind of stories and oh yeah that's the best that's the best yeah yeah and it it just reminds me too like I feel like the more inner healing that I've found for myself I've actually had people comment on things like you look younger the body responds to 
all that we're doing to it. And this is so great that like people are finding such phenomenal results in using the skincare. And I just, ah, there's, there's so much, there's, it's so powerful just to be doing the kind, loving, healthy things for ourselves, and how externally, like you can see the results of what you do internally or what you put on your skin. Yeah. So powerful. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And it's amazing. And it's so amazing to hear stories like that from people like I have, I have such a, um, large returning customer base like there's so many women that just they're just most of my customers are repeat customers and that's actually pretty rare for for a company okay have like so many repeats so that's just really cool and like so many of them email me and let me know that they're just amazed and pleased and like they're never going to use anything else and <laughs> so it's super cool like yeah, that's what I want that's what I, I just I want that for all the women. Yeah. Oh. And I want to hear all of that. Oh yeah. Yes, definitely. Anyone listening should totally go and get your products. I mean, I am I am so happy that I found you and especially because like skincare has always been a big deal to me. You know? And I mean, what I got from you, I got four different products. And I feel like I paid the same price I normally pay for two products. And the results I'm getting from your products are phenomenal. So this is what you're doing is amazing. Thank you. Good. Yeah. And thank you. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and I hope you found it really beneficial. If you want to be able to contact Hannah directly, all the details are in the show notes but you can find her on Instagram at Vibrant Within, or you can go directly to her website, vibrantwithin.com. She's offering a free ebook if you're a visual learner, and she's going to go over everything that we heard today and probably a few more things than that. So knowing how to implement the facial care routine is all available to you from the free ebook. Head over to her website to get signed up for her emails and to get that for yourself. Here we are. We've made it to the end. What'd you think about what you heard today? Is there something you heard that you know you need to take action on? I'm one of those people who loves to not just sit and hear something, but to sit and hear and then go ahead and start implementing, taking action on what I hear, what was stirred up in me. And I encourage you to do the same. If you enjoyed today's episode or perhaps you heard an episode in the past that really stuck with you, would you go ahead and share that with some of your friends and your family? It would mean so much to me. And also, if you want to connect with me, remember, you can always find me throughout the week on Instagram. I'm Kareen underscore Change Radically. Or you can email me anytime, Kareen at ChangeRadically.com. I'd love to be in touch. And if there's any way that I can help you, please seek me out. Until we speak again next week, I hope that you will remember in the moments that are loud and busy and in the moments that are quiet and still, that who you are is super important. You are valuable. And I am so glad that you're alive.